It's officially 2020, and we're kicking things off with a 10-question episode on dog breeds. This is Trivia with Buds. Let it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Happy New Year. It is officially 2020. How did you celebrate? What did you do? Did you hang out with your friends, your family? Did you drink? Are you doing your resolution as you listen? I want to hear all about it. Drop me a line at ryanbuds at gmail.com or hit me up on social media at ryanbuds with anything you want to share about your New Year's Eve celebration or your New Year's resolution. I always think those are fun to jump into and try and stick with, especially at the start of a new decade. It's a little bit different than the year we're starting a brand new decade, so anything can happen. I have a list of things. I'm trying to do like 12 things this year, so we'll see how many I stick with. But the first one is to not drink which uh, I did in October, did a sober October. And every January, I usually do a dry January. So I'm going to see if I can do that for the whole month. Should be able to do that, no problem. I got a fair share of drinking in over the holidays, and I have not drank for three days now, and I can already see my body looks different in the mirror, especially my face. My face is always the first thing. It kind of swells up. So I am definitely going to stop drinking. I'm going to try and not eat bread for the whole month, which is really tough to do. Now, that to me is mostly just like sandwiches and rolls and things like that. I still might pop a cookie here and there, which is, you know, similar and bad for you. But in terms of just eating sandwiches and rolls and big heavy stuff like that, I'm going to try and stay away from bread for a month. I'm still going to have cereal too. Um, Usually like every few days, I like a nice bowl of cereal. And I'm going to try and stop biting my nails, which is the hardest thing to do. I've tried to do it a million times before. I think the longest I ever went is a month. But those are my three big vices that I'm like, I got to do something different. I got to try something. I'm also going to uh, do a few other things that I wouldn't call resolutions, but they're just like life changes. So I'm going to start meditating more. I've been falling asleep to a great meditation podcast called Meditation Minutes. I think that's the name of it. And it's just a real soothing voice lady uh, telling you, things to wind down for the night. So I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to try to take a yoga class and I'm really doing like 10 years worth of resolutions <laughs> in this one month, but we'll see how it goes. Again, I'm sure I'll fall off the wagon on a few, but share your resolutions with me over on the Discord app chat. If you're brand new to the show, maybe your uh, resolution was to listen to more podcasts and you stumbled across this one and you're like, where's the trivia? I will get to it in just a few minutes. We have a great 10 question quiz for you on dog breeds. But until then, I'm just kind of setting the table for you with what's to come in 2020. Bunch of fun new trivia stuff in my arsenal ready for you all. And a big change to one of the things is this Monday, I'll be adding video to all the episodes. I'll be recording all seven episodes for the week on Mondays and posting those. So be on the lookout for new video footage if you like to watch Uh, me talk for some reason instead of listen to it you'll be able to listen to that and watch it on youtube the show will still be uploaded as normal to um, all the different feeds if you're listening to it on a podcast app it'll still be there Um, i will just have a video option over on youtube and i'll record seven at a time in a different brewery or venue or a friendly location near me and we'll get to promote those businesses and we'll just have some fun And it'll kind of keep me on a schedule of getting all the podcasts done for the week on a Monday. All right. Those are all my announcements. We're going to jump into dog breed trivia. Just one last thing. If you are a fan of horror movies and survival horror video games and things like that, my friend and listener Randy Tatum has a new game that will be released on Kickstarter in just a week. Uh, It might be about five days away now. So if you're into that kind of thing, look for this Uh, horror movie themed games is what this is all about. And it's a game called Bloody Mess. It involves a killer that's attacking you and your friends, and you have to use any means necessary in order to be the last standing survivor, even if it means betraying your friends. If you'd like more information, go to the Facebook page at facebook.com slash bloody mess the game and keep an eye out for that Kickstarter in a few days. You can very easily click the link in the show notes in the description of every episode, and that'll take you right to bloody mess the game from randy tatum and company all right guys we're going to jump into today's episode on dog breeds 10 questions to kick off your rear your rear (laughs) i'm not going to edit that out kick off your rear at the start of the year here we go 
All right, here we go, Dog Breed Trivia. We got 10 questions from a website called Useful Trivia. Dot com. If you need some quick trivia questions, this is a good resource I use from time to time. Here's question number one, and it's multiple choice. How many dog breeds are there worldwide? Is it over 200, over 1,600, over 400, or over 800? Question number one, how many dog breeds are there worldwide? Over 200, 1,600, 400, or 800? Question number two, what dog is known for its bluish black tongue? Question number two, what dog is known for its bluish black tongue? Question number three, what is the largest breed of dog in the world? Number three, what is the largest breed of dog? Question four, we have another multiple choice. What breed of dog was originated in the late 1800s by Captain Max von Stefanitz, who hoped to develop an all-purpose working dog? Was that the German Shepherd, the St. Bernard, the German Spitz, or the Border Collie? Question number four. Question number five, what is the fastest breed of dog? Number five, what's the fastest breed of dog? Question number six, what is the most popular dog in the United States? Would that be a poodle, a Labrador retriever, a beagle, or a German shepherd? Number seven, the most popular dog breed in the U.S., is it a poodle, lab, a beagle, or a German shepherd? Question number seven, what breed of dog was originated in Germany by a tax collector who needed a guard dog for protection? Number seven, what breed of dog was originated in Germany by a tax collector who needed a guard dog for protection? Question number eight, what breed of dog has the longest ears? Question number eight, what breed of dog has the longest ears? Question number nine, what does corgi mean in Welsh? Does it mean blind shepherd, always yapping, furry sausage, or dwarf dog? Number nine, what does corgi mean in Welsh? Blind shepherd, always yapping, furry sausage, or dwarf dog? And question number ten, what historical figure owned the most dogs? What historical figure owned the most dogs? Those are all your questions, 10 in a row on today's quiz to start off the year with dog breed trivia. We'll be right back in just a second with the answers. We're back with dog breed trivia answers. Let's see how you did. Question number one, how many dog breeds are there worldwide? The answer was more than 400. 400 was the closest number there. Not 1,600 or 800 or not less than that with 200, but 400 different breeds. Question number two, what dog is known for its bluish black tongue? That would be a chow chow. It says one of the oldest breeds of dogs, chow chows, are known for their bluish black tongues and gums. They aren't born with this coloration. However, at birth, they are pink. And after eight weeks, they start to turn that bluish black color. So there's some fun facts for you. Question number three, what's the largest breed of dog? I would have guessed Great Dane on this one. But according to UsefulTrivia.com, it says it's an Irish wolfhound standing at an average height of approximately 34 inches from the withers or shoulder blade. The Irish wolfhound is generally considered the world's largest or tallest dog. Question number four, what breed of dog was originated in the late 1800s by Captain Max von Stefanitz, who hoped to develop an all-purpose working dog? That would be the German Shepherd dog. It says the German Shepherd was originated by that guy, a former German army captain who hoped to breed an all-purpose working dog. Number five, the fastest breed of dog would be the Greyhound that reaches speeds up to 45 miles per hour or 72 kilometers an hour. Number six, what is the most popular dog breed in the United States? The most people own Labs, Labrador Retriever, according to American Kennel Club's registration statistics. So a lot of people have stray dogs that they never register, but According to that, like the census, 
Uh, that's what the closest thing would be. The lab retriever. Number seven, what breed of dog was originated in Germany by that tax collector who needed a guard dog? That would be the Doberman or the Doberman Pinscher. 1890, Louis Doberman, tax collector who needed that guard dog. Hoping to develop a breed of dog with maximum strength, loyalty, intelligence, and fierceness, Doberman is believed to have mixed a number of breeds, including the German Shepherd, the Great Dane, the Greyhound, the Pinscher, and the Rottweiler. Today, Dobermans are commonly used as guard dogs and police dogs. Number eight, what breed of dog has the longest ears? That would be the Basset Hound. The Basset Hounds are generally considered to be the longest-eared dogs. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, a Basset Hound from Germany named Jack holds the record for longest ears on a dog. Jack's ears measure a remarkable 13 inches and are so long he sometimes trips over them when he walks. That's a fun little fact. I'd like to see a video of that dog, Jack. Number nine, what does Corgi mean in Welsh? It means dwarf dog in Welsh, so smaller type dog. It does have some of those smaller features, and corgi means dwarf dog. And number 10, which historical figure owned the most dogs? I didn't give you the choices, but I'll give them to you now so you have context. King George III, Genghis Khan, Abraham Lincoln, or this guy, Kublai Khan. Kublai Khan, it says that he had a kennel of 5,000 mastiffs used for hunting and as dogs of war. So there you go. Some fun dog breed trivia. Maybe you learned something. We haven't done a dog thing in a while on the show. So it's kind of fun to jump into the year with something we have not done just recently. It's time for one of our features of this show. If you're brand new, it's called the question of the day. Day, day. I should come up with some kind of little jingle for that at some point. This would have been a good episode to debut that on, but I don't have a jingle. (laughs) So maybe later this year. Uh, we have a question for you, and our question is brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. You can find them at fmdesignsinc.com. What was Cape Kennedy renamed to in 1973? Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds or email ryanbuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was a star for the icon in the center square of a Scrabble board. Guys, if you want to sponsor the question of the day, Send me an email, again, ryanbuds at gmail.com, and I'll give you all the details on how to do that, but you can do that for a whole month at a time. So you can lock in your company, your business, your service with a shout out and any kind of wording you want me to read for a a nice fair price. And just email ryanbuds at gmail.com and I'll send you all the details. Trivia team name of the day is Nerd Herd. You can use that next time you play trivia. The Nerd Herd could win the whole thing. Funky Monkey is at fmdesignsinc.com. And don't forget to check out Randy Tatum's new horror-themed strategy game, Bloody Mess, at facebook.com slash bloody mess the game. Thank you guys so much for listening to the show. Thanks for telling a friend about the show. Get ready for the video version of the show starting this Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds. Cheers! (laughs) 